This is going to be procedure B, the energy of grinding. And let's see here. There we go. Uh, I've got my grinder here. I've already placed exactly, actually, this time it worked out 20.0 grams of beans. So I'm going to write that down. And uh, for this particular kilowatt uh, version, I have to actually go in and select to get it back to 0, 0.00 kilowatt hours. I can't just unplug it which is fine, so I did that. But now I want to go to uh, Watts. And so it's in Watts reading right now. And I'm going to uh, plug the grinder into the kilowatt. Uh, good, done. Reset to zero kilowatt. Set the units to Watts, done. And we have to keep it in Watts because we won't even make it to 0 0.01 kilowatt hours with this. Grind the coffee beans for 10 seconds. Record the average watts used by the grinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. We're going to watch the grinder down here. And uh, hopefully it'll stay in focus. And now I have my scale here. So I'll turn it on. Showing 98, 99. 98.7, 97, 96. So it actually was interesting. Um, I actually went 20 seconds there. Uh, it took about 99 watts. And let's write down 99 watts right at the beginning. And then actually as it ground up, it did take, seem to take less. So this has been trial one. Let's go ahead and take these beans. Mm. I'm gonna have to have some coffee after this. Get 20 grams of new beans. Well, let's get the old beans totally out first and whew, don't do that. Whenever you work with a grinder, always unplug it before you ever reach your hand in. And I don't have a brush here, so I'm just going to go and poke these around until they come out. At least most of them. And safety first as we do these, always. It's not just chemistry. It's Those are my fingers, and those are your fingers, too. All right, so I'm going to put this on my, I'm gonna put this on my scale. I'm going to tear it. I got my coffee beans. I'm going to try and get to about 20 grams. This is for the second trial. 17. Oh, I got lucky again. 20.0. Put the extra ones back. And you can see it automatically resets because it's not using any watts right now, and watts is different than kilowatt hours, right? All right, so let's see what we get this time. So actually, I have to write down our 20.0 grams of beans again, and let's see what the wattage is. It takes a couple seconds to respond, but we got 96 watts that time. And because it's jumping around, uh, even though it reads to the tenths place, what we're going to record is just actually uh, watts. So just 96. So that last decimal place, when it went from 96 to 95, and before when it went from 99 to 98 to 97, uh, that means that there's some uncertainty in the last, in the ones place. So that's a good measurement. So we have for trial one, 99 watts, and for trial two, 96 watts.